So here in this direction, we are walking towards the Raja Prasong intersection and here to the right you have the Central World Shopping Mall. Good afternoon! I am here at the R Walk in the Raja Prasong area in Bangkok and I just wanted to show you guys the Skywalk and I'm starting here from the Platinum Mall and I'll be walking in the direction of Chitlam and Racha Prasong. I really love this skywalk, you know, it uh, connects the Pratanam area together with the Racha Prasong intersection. And yeah, this is in the middle of the shopping mile, you could say. It's Saturday afternoon, it's just past 12, the sun is at its highest point. So here you have the Patum Vana Nurat Park, which is uh, constructed here next to the Central World Mall. Here on the corner used to be the Isetan, but they are closed now. Here in front you see two new hotel towers that I noticed they were, they've been constructed in the past year. As always in Bangkok, a lot of changing happening. So here in front you have the market. It's a relatively new shopping uh, center. Yeah, I love how they are constructing all these, uh, yeah, I call it skywalks here, to connect the shopping uh, areas. Here in front, you could call it the love shrine. Basically, people that are looking for love, they come here to pray. So they call it the Trimurti Shrine. Actually today there's not so much traffic. Of course that all has to do with the pandemic. Yeah, so here at the market you also have a Don Don Donkey shop, which is a Japanese shop. There is still some Chinese New Year decoration over here. I will have to make a separate video for that one. So here in this direction we are walking towards the Raja Prasong intersection and here to the right you have the Central World shopping mall if i'm correct the second biggest the second largest mall in uh, in bangkok behind the icon siam here you have the entrance to the big c super center
Yeah, today it's actually quite fresh. And especially when you walk in these kind of skywalks, I mean, you're protected from the sun. So it makes it very, very comfortable. So on Monday, there is going to be an update regarding the alcohol ban in Bangkok. And it looks like they might choose to lift the alcohol ban, which means that all bars and entertainment venues can open. It means that restaurants can sell alcohol again. So that's going to be a, a big relief for, for the tourism here in the city because uh, also local tourism can, can start picking up again. Yeah, it was actually, I noticed that uh, Central World didn't do anything for the Chinese New Year. Or not a lot, just a few small decorations. Okay, we're getting into the Gaysorn village which connects with the Gaysorn Mall and from there we can get to the Chitlam station. Yeah, normally I would be super happy to get into the <laughs> into the air conditioning, but as today it's not that warm anyway. It doesn't really matter, and it's actually quite cold. <laughs> yeah, so this connects the Gaysorn office tower with the Gaysorn mall. Gaysan Mall is an upscale shopping mall here in Bangkok with more luxury brands. Yeah, I do see some decorations here, but I think this is just regular decorations. This is not so much with a theme. That looks perfect for an afternoon tea. Yeah, so getting to the exit here and then we'll end up at the Raja Prasong Skywalk from where you can walk towards the Siam Paragon or you can walk towards Chitlam. It's two options.
Yeah, so if you turn left here, you go to Chitlam. And turning right here, you go to Siam BTS. And I am going to finish my walk of the northern part of the R walk. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to finish it here at the Aero One Shrine. If you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe and see you guys in my next uh, video.